Hello, I'm Dr. Sheila. I'm a consulting obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Raja Rajeshwarnagar, Bangalore. We have our own hospital. We are Nagarbavi Circle SK Hospital. Augmentation of labor is a process wherein we stimulate the uterus to get the desired intensity, frequency and duration of contractions in a woman who is already in established labor but the progress of labor is delayed and this progress is delayed mainly because of the poor uterine contractions. So here we can always augment the labor. Failure of progress of labor has become a major indication for cesarean section. So in order to reduce this high incidence of C-section in a woman, we have a drug which, has, which can be used to augment the labor. Whenever we plan for augmentation labor, labor, two questions to be asked. Is the patient in, is, is in true labor, that is established labor, or have you ruled out cephalopelvic disproportion? If these two criteria have been fulfilled, then we have decided to go ahead with augmentation of labor. The patient should be hospitalized. The patient should be continuously monitored both for uterine contractions and the fetal monitoring is required. So definitely an experienced nurse has to be next to the patient. So goal here is to get just adequate uterine contractions without causing any distress to the baby, the labor has to happen. The dose of drug depends upon so many criteria like gestational age. So if it is nearing the turn, the sensitivity of the uterus to the oxytocin is much better compared to the preterm pregnancies and uh, uh, pre-existing uterine contractions patterns and the cervix, what stage it is dilated and where is the station of the head. So once these criteria are fulfilled, we go ahead with the augmentation. We have three different methods for augmentation. First one is most commonly used is the amniotomy. Amniotomy is nothing but artificial rupture of the membranes. It's commonly used, very simple procedure. Here with the help of a gloved uh, hand, we take a simple device, plastic device which, with a hook which is inserted through the vagina and we rupture the membrane. It stimulates the uterine contractions and shortens the labor duration. It, is, it doesn't cause much discomfort, then it is uh, a very simple procedure. Then coming to the next method, that is drug called oxytocin. It is a synthetic hormone which is very commonly used again and it acts by st stimulating the uterus, uterine contractions and desired contractions like in intensity, duration and frequency can be obtained with this drug. So it is given in infusion form with a pump, continuous uh, infusion through the pump and uh, the drug has to be diluted in Ringer lactate. About 10 units of syntocinone is diluted with 1000 ml of Ringer lactate that gives dilution of 10 milli units in 1 ml. So it is usually started with 6 milli units per ml and monitor over next 40 minutes. Then again, it, if the desired contractions are not obtained, then we increase it by another 6 milli units till we get the desired uterine contractions. Any time in between, if there is a hyper stimulation, the drug medicines can be discontinued. So half-life of this drug is about 3 to 5 minutes. So in another 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour time, completely uterus is relaxed. Then again, the cardiac activity is normal, fetal cardiac activity is normal. Again, it can be started at half the dose, that is 3 millionits per ml. And again, accelerated by 3 millionits per ml. But the dose should never exit 40 millionits per ml. So it's a very useful drug and very routinely we use it. But continuous fetal monitoring and uterine contraction monitoring should be uh, there to avoid complications. Then third method is the combination of both amniotomy as well as oxytocin. It is proved beyond doubt that when oxytocin, when the combined method is used, uh, it is much better than oxytocin drug alone. So these are the three methods we use. So with the use of augmentation methods, definitely C-section rates have come down and complications like delivering hypoxic babies or hyperstimulation and rupture of the uterus has come down drastically mainly because we are monitoring the fetus as well as the mother very well. So thank you.